What's up, guys? This is Dre Johnson, CEO and founder of Dago San Diego Taco Shop, originally from San Diego, California. My passion for cooking came, it was really natural, man. Um, growing up, I liked certain, uh, you know, meals, and I wanted to, you know, make them at home. So I started teaching myself how to cook at a young age. My mom was actually a natural um, at cooking. She could have been a chef. My grandfather was actually a chef, so I feel like it ran in my DNA. But during the pandemic, or a little bit before that, I was working on a uh, on the logo. I was like, man, if I ever had like 50,000 just saved up, I would invest in like a taco shop. I didn't know nothing about the restaurant industry, but my background is in sales and I was a CS in the Navy. So as a culinary specialist, I mean, you don't really learn too much about cooking everything in the Navy, but I had enough knowledge in sales and marketing to know what to do to open up a business. I mean, my, I've always wanted to be a business owner. I tried different things and I felt like this would really work. So I ended up starting uh, the business out of my homie's garage. And then I took it from there, did it out of my house, rented out half a snow cone trailer, and then I bought my own. So within a matter of a year, I did all that. It was a long process, but I just didn't give up and I continued on the, the path. All right, boom, so we have three staples from Dago San Diego Taco Shop. We starting with right here, the Tijuana Street Tacos. You got a corn tortilla, carne salad, which is steak, cilantro, guac, cilantro and onion or cebolla, however you want to say it. We got the mucho nachos. You got yellow chips, salted, carne asada, shredded cheese, guac, pico, sour cream, cotilla, pico de gallo, you know, the whole nine. You got the red and green sauce and you got the rolled tacos. You got uh, a corn tortilla wrapped with shredded beef on the inside, fried to perfection, shredded cheese, guac, uh, pico de gallo, and cotilla. Everything is top of cotilla except for the Tijuana Street Tacos. These are all staples you can find back home in San Diego. And then to finish off, we got the California burrito. We got the, uh, the visual for you guys right here. You know what I mean? If you want to zoom in on this one right here, I mean, you know, you can never go wrong with the Cali, you feel me? Same ingredients. You got a 12 inch tortilla, french fries, shredded cheese, cotton and salad, sour cream, guacamole, pico de gallo, and cotilla. You, of course, you can't go wrong with any of the menu items having the red and green sauce. You gotta have the red and green sauce for each one of the menu items. All right, which one are you gonna go with first? I ain't gonna lie. You go down the <laughs> line. Starting off with the tacos. So these are uh, the Tijuana tacos so yeah, right Tijuana, here? Tijuana, Tijuana Street tacos. All right, so right now we got the Tijuana Street tacos. We gonna try this. Go ahead. Let me go in here, grab that middle. Yeah, yeah. You need some sauce for this? No, I'm going no sauce. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. I can smell the sauce on here. You know we gotta cheers up real quick. Cheers, taco cheers. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This shit, it's right here. I ain't gonna lie. Like I was saying earlier, ever since I moved to Austin, I've been trying to find good Mexican food, good tacos, good everything for real. I'm finna that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you So yeah, man. Like I was saying, man, it's nothing. It's nothing like back home Shorty. food, man. I've been trying to find some good food. Um, I give this a ten out of ten. I'm not gonna lie. This I highly recommend. It's definitely off the richer scale for me. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a big fan of guacamole. I'm a huge fan of guacamole. I like sauce on every bite. I ain't gonna lie, I sort of just sauce this bitch up. You could definitely taste the, the meat seasoning. Definitely. Uh, I feel like everything is was made with perfection and love. So, like I said, I give this a 10 out of 10. What would you rate this? Definitely a 10 out of 10. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you show how to put it all away. <laughs> yeah, say that for mama. This is true. What's right, the nachos? Yeah, the, these are the, uh, what's the, they go, say, go, the, say they go nachos? Mucho nachos. Mucho, the muchos nachos. All right, so apologies for the video, man. We had to come into the establishment because the camera did get hot, but. Back to the Muchos Nachos. Man. Back to the Muchos Nachos. These are some nachos made off of crispy, fresh, we say corn tortilla, carne asada, 
They got some, man, yeah, some shredded cheese. Uh, uh, guacamole's puree. puree. Uh, it's a uh, white, I think it's like a sour cream type sour sauce. Cream. Yeah. Cilantro, pick of the gallo with the onions and tomatoes. And your natural red and green sauce. I ain't gonna lie, the presentation of these bitch, I give them a 10 off back. Yeah, it look, it, it's looking real fire, man. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I, you know, I, it, you know, based off the look, it look good. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah. we about to get into this, man. And looks can be deceiving. So, you know, Go you ahead. gotta see it to believe it. Try and then give it a rate. Give, give it, it a rate. rate. Hold on, I'm trying to grab something that's meaty, real. <laughs> I'm trying to grab something that's real. It got all the, you know. <laughs> But oh no, you going too crazy. Hey, I'm trying to slap that thing on that thing like that, boy. <laughs> okay, looking like it got everything in one bite. What it here for? What it here for? No, let me, let me, let me, let me grab mm. something real nice. The list. I ain't gonna lie. The crunch in them bitches is not. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's a meaty one. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I'm gonna go, go ahead and try this real quick. Go ahead. I ain't even gonna look. How that? How that? How that? How that? That taste now, another. Uh huh. Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your on, homework on these mucho mucho, mucho nachos. nachos. Not, Do mucho's your homework. Not grande. Do your homework on these bitches boxes and shorty on my grandma. I ain't gonna lie. I'll say this is delicioso. Delicioso. Mm. It's really hitting. Yum, 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 yum. Maybe it's meals. I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna take this corner out the game, Jack. Hold on. Go ahead, flip mm -hmm. that over here, make, mm -hmm. make me a little sandwich. You see this right here? Look what I'm finna do with her. <laughs> Boy, you over there slurping. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm gonna capture you. Get, get them things away from me before I tear them things up. Man, you know I gotta, I gotta dig up in these one more time, one more time, man. Get them things away from me, man. So I ain't gonna lie. I get them as a, I'm gonna get, I get them as a solid eight point seven. A solid eight point seven. See, I ain't gonna lie. The meat, the meat really, false. The meat really giving it the seasoning. <laughs> the 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 tortilla chips is extra crisp. Extra uh, crisp for sure. You said, you said you give it 8.7. 8.7? 8. 8. 8. 8. All right. I guess 8 point, mm, I give it an 8.5. Yeah, 8. I give yeah. it an 8.5. Round them up, round them up. But I ain't gonna lie, I would've overbang these bitches if it was like more chips and a fork. More chips and a fork? If I had more <laughs> chips and a fork, I could just, uh, Scrape that thing on that thing like that, man. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, them bitches to bang though. We ain't even put no sauce on them bitches, but yeah, these, these, we, we ain't put no sauce on these. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna wait on no. We, we gonna, we gonna try, we gonna try the burrito. We gonna wait on these real quick. Wait on these. We gonna wait on these. Oh. Uh, All right, one of my halves. So this, this is the California burrito right here. You feel me? It got, it got fries, cheese, two it different types of cheeses, uh, <laughs> carne asada meat. Uh, yeah, the fries holy. definitely. Uh, yeah, uh, based uh, off, I'm gonna just taste the fry real quick. The fries just like sure. The fries cool. The fries cool, man. The fries now, cool. Now, most of you probably are not familiar with, with fries and a burrito. Yeah, ex ex explain this. But it, it gotta be a California thing because this is a California burrito. And if you're from Cali, you know this. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I ain't gonna lie. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Popcorn. Damn. God damn. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna. No, hold on. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta take one more bite. No, thank you. Dog. Man, I ain't got no napkin. Oh my god. Wow. This burrito not making it to the crib. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, no, not gonna help. Who are you? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to kill this burrito right here and then. Cause... This is an automatic. This is an automatic 11. Shorty. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, shorty. Let me tell you about the tacos, don't you feel me? Fresh. Fresh roll tacos. Come on now. You did your one. You hey, did your one with this, my boy. The burrito, 
Shorty. You one with this one. They don't know about the, the fries and the burrito, man. Hey, man. A real California tradition, man. That's how it is, bro. That's a staple. That's a staple. Born in 19, in the 80s, 1980, California, San Diego, man. San Diego, California. That's where it's at, Dago. I ain't gonna lie. Dago is the home of the California burrito. We bought it, we bought it to the state, man. We bought it to the world. I ain't gonna lie to you, did I was, I was gonna wait. And, and finish the rest, but I gotta finish it now. I gotta finish it now. I ain't gonna lie. Come jump up. This, this is, this is right here. This is. Man, what? Don't do no fault. Hey, what? What's the rate out of that? Out of ten, bro. What's the rate? Twelve. Right. I'm gonna give it a. Hey, hey, you really broke the scale with this. I'm gonna get this about a 13, 15, Ooh, really twenty. Yeah. It's like that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna cop that burrito. Is sick, shorty. Imagine one of these drunk, drunk night. What? what? Fresh? Oh my granny, bro. Fresh. I ain't gonna lie. This bitch gonna. This bitch gonna get done. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. You might have to have this open 24 hours or at least till about 2 a.m. Man, mm -hmm. I swear to God, your stuff will be booming like the trap. I leave the club at 135, just be alive, goddamn can you right here. Oh my god. Yeah, you got how many nappies you got up over there? I got this for the bathroom, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I knew it was gonna get down to the nitty-gritty with this one. I don't lie, like I don't I said, finish that. No, nah, I'm I'm gonna finish it, but like I was saying, man, like I've been trying to find food like this for the longest. Like you know, Texas, Austin, I'm gonna put Austin exact, but Texas really. They make their Mexican food Tex Max. In Arizona, West Coast, we're not used to nothing like this at all. Like, we we, we used to authentic, yo, know, abuela cooking the stuff in the back, really? all that. So, to find somebody from the West Coast and make the same food that we really eat, oh yeah. I'll be yeah. here every day if I can. But I, I'm on my healthy stuff right now. We just approximately gained every weight that we, every pound that we lost mm. in this book. Hey. Yeah. Hey, this is the truth right here. I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead and uh, tell them about the Road Up Tacos. So we got the Road Up Street Tacos, six of these Johns. You know. Presentation is lovely per I, usual. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm already full. Bro, we gonna <laughs> cheers one of these tacos and we gonna get the fuck up out of here. Yeah, you gonna do your... We want to pour this. We ain't pour no sauce on none of these. Right, we gonna try the sauce, man. You no, both. Red, you both. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing uh, both. Both on everything. Cheers up, cheers up, cheers up. Hold on, child. Uh huh. Sprinkle that. Sprinkle that motherfucker on there. You going here? You going crazy? Hey, what thing about you, man? You, 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 you ain't gonna spare no type of sauce. Uh, hey, especially, especially if I'm. I ain't even gonna give y'all the secret on the wings. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That that burrito on my mind. Hold on, I mean. And look at the cheese. Hold on. Look, just look at the cheese. Well, I wasn't that stringy, but cheers, nigga. <laughs> try, to give me some, try to give me some cheese, bitch. All right, go out these bitches here. Yeah. No homo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that crunch is hit different. It hit different, but that sauce is, that sauce Tang spicy. Tangy little bitch, ain't it? Hey, the sauce spicy, y'all ain't gonna lie. That motherfucker, it cooked me when I bit down on the, with the crunch. Yeah, that, 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 that sauce really Mike Tyson me in for real. It, it, it's giving me them, some them this, jabs and all that. this cheese. Spread it out on that right there. Mmm. I know that hair punk, too. I know y'all hair punk. What you say, crunch it ties me, Captain. Do -do -do -do. Mm. Roll up tacos. I give it. I give it a ten for sure. I give it a ten out of ten. I give it a ten out of ten. I'm gonna go with a nine. A solid nine. Okay. So, Only because I like my tacos with sour cream. I know everybody don't like sour cream, but sour cream gives it a little. <laughs> It's a texture thing, Saudi. But look though, look though. They say, they say your food good if you ain't gotta add no, no, you extra, know, ingredients. extra ingredients to it. And we ain't add no sauce to name them. Not no nachos, not the tacos, not the burritos. I, I give this a 10 out of 10, but 
out of, out of everything on here, what's your favorite? Your, your favorite, you top, top one, top If we gonna two. go, go items, number one being the best, they go burrito, nacho, they go burritos, nachos, tacos, road tacos. That's how you feeling? That's, that's how I'm a strong burritos first. <laughs> two and three could be, you know, mix and match. Uh, but I do like the, the nachos um, over the street tacos and then the road tacos being the last because, you know, it's fried street tacos. But okay, overall, that, that my top, yeah. That's how my, that's how the full item go. So me, it go the burrito first. For sure. The uh, T Tijuana street tacos, uh, sec second. You may hate me for this, but I'm gonna do the rolled up tacos, third. The nachos, nachos last. I'm gonna put it last. Don't get me wrong though, the nachos is fire. It just, them, I like rolled up tacos for real. So, yeah, you know, yeah. like, they just, they just hit you with that punch. Yeah, it just, it just, punch it, just, it just did it for me, man. So if you ever in Austin and you looking for something good to eat, man, go to Dago San Diego Taco Shop, man. Definitely highly recommend. One. Definitely, definitely. For the recommend. overall rating, I give it a 10. I give it a 10, man. Uh, for the, for overall the rating, overall. for all four items, I definitely give it a 10. Uh, presentation is very, very, very key when it, when it comes to serving food. Quality food deserves a great presentation. Yeah, and definitely. the presentation is definitely lovely on all four items. And I ain't gonna lie, that burrito gonna be on y'all minds so, <laughs> so many times at the night. You gonna scratch your neck. You probably gonna scratch your neck because that burrito was juicy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He he did his thing on the burrito. Uh, Fresh ingredients, everything is what yeah, I really er like about. Yeah, yeah. Fresh ingredients, er everything for yes. sure. Okay. That's important when dealing with food and uh, food critics like uh, thus as, as as far as myself. I definitely love the fresh fresh ingredients presentation. All right, and the quality, so. good quality, good quality. Yeah, good 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 dude, good dude, man. I fuck with it. All right, so man, like. You know, make sure y'all hit the like button, make sure y'all comment, subscribe. If you want me and Shot of Fly Guy to go ahead and do another food review, just drop in the comments where y'all want us to go, and uh, we'll go rate it, man. The marathon is just about seeing long term, seeing a vision, understanding that nothing worthwhile happens overnight, and just sticking to your script long enough to make something real happen.